Welcome back to Model Maniacs. Uh, today's uh, update is for the Vostok 1 capsule. I will show you the progress on the build that I've done lately. And in this case I have uh, concentrated on the capsule itself. And uh, as you know I already mounted the this, uh, holding straps and the insides of the, the hatches. But what I've done now is that I, hi that I have uh, made the explosive bolts around the entry hatch here and also the edge here on the inside using aluminum foil and aluminum foil is uh, very interesting material to work with and it's very easy to obtain and quite cheap because uh, you can use a Pepsi can this is the perfect material for using for, for model building it's flexible, it's very thin, and it's very easy to, to, uh, to glue with super glue and it's quite easy to cut. Uh, there are some things though you have to know when you're cutting aluminum foil is that you cannot use an ordinary cutting mat because uh, when you try to cut it uh, the, the piece will just go down into the mat so you won't be able to to get a clear cut. It, you just uh, wrinkle it. So what you have to do is you have to use a either a glass plate or a metal plate. In this case, a glass plate is perfect. Uh, I use this also when I cut, uh, for example, photo edge material. I didn't press so very hard, but as you can see, it's it's, it's working properly. If you cut any harder, you will go right through it. Perhaps you will have to cut several cuts. But this is easy to... to uh, to get through as you can see. Aluminum foil is very useful, useful and it's very cheap. So on to the model building. So I've done the capsule, I mounted the, the top as you can see. I filled in several holes. I also put my attention to this connector here and this is the connector for the electronics. Um, this is not here. Um, th this is not present on the Revell kit. I have a old Revell kit here, as you can see, and this is already built up. Uh, I will describe this model a little later. But here you can see here's the connector, um, but uh, it's glued over. So uh, behind this, there is no connector. But the connector here itself is very interesting. I will be returning in the next. Um, video how to make these connectors for the electronic stage and the electronic stage is going to have five connectors on the side where all the cables and everything is going into that it will be a very interesting build but uh, for now we're concentrating on the capsule uh, I also laid some time on the, the hatches and here is the entry hatch and the entry hatch here as you can see has one observation window uh, uh, but I have also opened two extra windows here that is present in the original Vostok capsule uh, this is not present in the model so I have to measure them out and uh, drill them out uh, th the back of the hatch uh, is only going to be sanded because there are no details here except for the material that I'm going to put here made by Milliput uh, the texture of the inside of the capsule but that is the last thing that I'm going to do uh, if we go on to the observation window that is going to be opposite to the entry hatch here you have the observation window there I'm going to drill this out to the right dimensions and uh, insert a par uh, piece of um, styrene instead to make it uh, more accurate the back side of this hatch at the other side has detail and there's going to be a instrument panel here I think I've got it here somewhere we have got it here this is quite a rough instrument panel so I have to rebuild it but it gives uh, a little hint of how it's going to look inside the capsule this is the instrument panel that comes with the kit but this one has to be reworked and I'm going to make a new one. Also there's going to be an instrument panel right here above the uh, the window and everything here is going to be covered with the interior material 
the padding of the inside of the capsule. So you're not going to see this, this structure here, just the instrument panels. The uh, inside of the, the uh, service panel is not going to be reworked at all because this one is not going to be seen from the either from the inside or the outside. So I'm just going to let it be as is. I'm not going to glue it, but uh, I'm going to uh, fix it in place so that I can open it if there is any more information from how the inside of this side is looking. But right now I have no in information of this part, so I, I cannot do anything there. Okay, we move on to the electronic stage. I have uh, sanded off the, the detail on the underside of the electronic stage and here I made markings for the scribing of, pan of lines which I'm going to put uh, sheet styrene on in stripes around like this uh, I also filled in all the holes for the control rocket uh, holding clamps and I filled in uh, and built up this ridge alongside here. It, this is the part where all the cables are connected inside. Up here you see the, the holding parts for the, the oxygen bottles and the oxygen bottles in this kit was way too small and uh, not that very well detailed so that I made a I made a master of a little 15 millimeter ball with sheet styrene and I also made a silicon mold so that I can make new ones all the time. And here's a copy already done. Here's a copy of one. This one is ready to paint and uh, glue in place. And there are going to be 12 of these mounted at this angle here on the electronic stage. And there's going to be uh, wiring and connectors to them, mounted to them too. So the detail here is going to be monumental. That much for the electronic stage. Perhaps I'm going to tell you something about the second stage. Uh, I know that uh, many people doesn't like to present the, the Vostok with the second stage, but I will do that because I, I think it gives it a little more volume to the kit. And in this case, uh, this is the second stage and um, perhaps some of you know that this is the second stage from the Revell kit actually. Um, I'm making this more or less a kit bash because I'm going to use the Revell's second stage because this one is better than the Plastic Art second stage just uh, because Plastic Art has four parts you have to glue together and since uh, that model doesn't take well to ordinary plastic cement uh, but only to super glue I have had some issues with the, the um, conformity of the, the second stage so I'm going to use Revell's second stage but I'm going to rework it extensively and I already started with it because all those panels here are rescribed and all the bolts are drilled in so the holes for the bolts are all drilled out I have filled it in but I'm not ready sanding it yet. Uh, also uh, the control rockets for this kit, for the Revell kit, is much too small than uh, they should be. But uh, that is a point that Plastic Art has made perfectly well done. So um, I made copies of uh, Plastic Art's control rockets in resin. And they are much better in shape and size and they make a much better appearance on the second stage as you can see it's very interesting to make a model like this when you start from almost nothing or an extensively old model and build up your own stuff and make it super detailed and look for uh, for references on the internet or in old books but in this case, the second stage here is better than Plastic Arts. And the strange thing here is that Revels is 124 scale and the Plastic Art is 125 scale. But they fit perfectly 
on each other. That's a perfect fit. They should fit like this. And also I'm going to do, when I'm done with all of this, I'm going to make the, the, uh, the upper uh, protective stage to the rocket cone for this model to present beside this uh, finished model when, it, when I'm done with it. But um, I suppose that this model is going to take quite a long time to finish. But uh, this is a crusade that I'm making, an as in uh, space age crusade. Uh, if we go back to the, the um, electronic stage, uh, if we look at this little ridge up here, I don't know if you, you can't see it, but uh, I'm going to explain it. There's a ridge here. This it's um, it's um, a part here that there are markings. If we look at this side here, there I, where I'm not finished, there are six holes, uh, six markings here in two rows. But if we look at the photos of the real thing, there are only six holes here. So why are there two rows? Well, if you look at the, the real thing, the photos, then you see that the reflection of the metal from the, the, the uh, sphere makes it look like there are two rows of holes. But there should only be one. The, the, this is an important thing to, to notice because otherwise you will get it wrong. So we're drilling out those holes with a very very, very small uh, drill. Six in a row all the way around. And uh, I'm almost ready with these ones. So that's the update for today. I will continue uh, give you updates when I do something of importance or something that is uh, interesting to look at. So uh, thank you for today and I hope you come back and watch Model Maniacs soon again. Thank you.